Um, welcome back, everyone, to League Lads. You know what we do with the lads that talk league. And it's been a big round of footy. And I know a lot of people say it, and we podcast, everyone says the same thing. On podcast. But it actually has been because it's magic round. Um, some people call it tragic round. And Mr. Fred was there to witness it live in the flesh. We're not going to talk about that right, straight away. We're going to do our usual uh, weekly award segment. Um, I want you to really talk about magic. I want you to like... Right. You you have been taught... The, whatever you've been telling me in WhatsApp group chats and all that, I want you to spill it out today because I want everyone to know how good that was because NRL doesn't get its limelight sometimes. You know what I mean? So anyway, we'll start off with the first things first. W Man's of the Week. Um, I'm going to go with the Dolphins center because... I remember before the game, someone put a multi on him and they like to score a hat-trick and they put like crazy money on him and they almost got it because he scored a double. And just how big he is, how good he is, what he's what he done in that game, they were calling him uh, Val Meninga, which I've, honestly, I love it and I'm backing it. I'm all the way behind it, bro. Uh, tell me a bit about him, bro. How'd you see him go? Yeah, I was waiting for this for a long time. Um, oh, so you know, you've known him? Yeah, I think everyone's known him. He was like the, the prime like junior that they, that they have. Okay. Like the like he it was just only a matter of time before he came into the to the limelight. I was so jeed because he was up <laughs> against the other big Bob Patala guy. Oh, that was a mad battle. That was a mad centers battle, man. Yeah, and uh, bro, they the Dolphins are running away with it, man. Crazy. They were nicking every Queensland it was like thirty team, nil. Every Queensland team um, won this weekend. Yeah. They all I think just, again. I think it happened last year too. Yeah, it's a magic round thing. But man, he was he was he's unbelievable. And apparently he started playing footy like not long ago. Yeah, I don't know what I don't he was know, doing. Do you know his backstory? Like, yeah, like I know I know to the point that like he only played rugby league for like a year. Yeah. Maybe he was playing union before, I don't really know. Okay, well it's the same, same. But or maybe he's just picked up the game and it's just natural. Bro, I don't just, know. He looks like he's been playing five years for his juniors, the way he ran. That first try he scored was like, oh my god, he just took everyone with him and yeah. went all the way, man. That was a crazy try, bro. Yeah, he's gonna Crowd be big, lit up. He's gonna be a big talent, man. Who's your W men's? Fazzo, mate. Kieran, Kieran Foran. Foran. Um, bro, sh- probably should have had a hat trick, but we got the, ch- the try of the round instead of, the hat- instead of his hat trick. <laughs> when, like, uh, Khan Pereira just, bro, he just he said, hey, Gutherson, bro, I heard you got no legs, bro. Let me just go right around you, mate. He kicked it and ran past him and scored. But Foran had that double when they were, and it was crucial. It ended up winning him the game. Um, and I think it just had an overall just really good game. And he's performing. He's doing whatever the team needs. And when you look at that signing on paper, you just look at it and you say, if the brother can stay healthy, he can really add a lot to the team. Big value. And that's just always been his thing, health. Like, well, the last few years, he's been pretty healthy. But at the dogs, far out, bro. He was bro. very injured. But no, when but he played, he was bad. But when he has, when he, like, when he's fit and he's ha- he has a game, he's up there with the best, bro. Like, he can change a game. He can control a game. All his effort and his hard work that he puts into the game... And he's, I think he's unlocked Fafida, bro. I think Fafida, we're hearing, we're not hearing, the last two seasons, we're hearing a lot of stuff, bad, negative stuff about David Fafida. He's on this much money and they should let him go and he's not shining there. And I remember at one point he was on the bench, bro. Last year. And then at one point he played center. And I'm yeah, like, la- last well, year what's, was really what's, what's going on? This guy's your most expensive player. Why is he not backed by the halves? And Because let's face it, the halfbacks and, set, and so the half pairing made Kikau look good. Like all these, you know, players look good in that position. So I think Fafita, for uh, foreign for Gold Coast was a good signing, man. Yeah. He so would. he's the W. He's got the two tries this week. Yeah. Try of the round, you're saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, he, the try of the round was scored. If he had just passed the ball oh, to okay, foreign, okay, he would have okay, got a hat trick. Okay. But instead of just passing the ball to foreign, which is a smart play, the bro just went and tried to go around Gutherson. And he still done it. And, and he still got it done. Like, yeah, he got the try, of course. Yeah. But... Sickest try, but foreign, bro. He's one of his hat trick. Yeah, I mate, I'm, I'm just, I didn't watch any footy on Sunday. My best mate got married, so I was literally disconnected. I watched ten minutes of the Roosters game, and we're gonna get into that because they've been very, very shocking. L man's of the week. I'm gonna, oh man, it's just, it's. I want to say, like, it's gonna be Jared Rio Hargraves, bro. That one really, really, really bothered me. How he's like. I'll crack ya. Yeah. <laughs> After the bloke was on the ground for 25 seconds waiting for a penalty on one knee for like a little love tap. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that, bro. Players are, are learning. After you milk a penalty, after you milk a penalty like that. You can't do that shit. Nah. Like I, uh, that, later that night, 
Uh, I saw Billy Moore, mate, at, at the cast. And legend, that, Queensland legend. Absolute legend, you know. Queenslander. <laughs> they don't make him like him anymore, bro, because now every player that we used to think was a tough guy is now on the ground milking for penalties, bro. Literally, but, and Jared, yeah. Jared's probably the toughest, one of the toughest blokes in the league. Yeah. And because, I think be, just because of the way refereeing is done now, and they know that they've got to get away with it, can help their team, they start doing all these things. I think if you're milking a penalty and you get up all good, you should be penalised. I really think that. Like, yeah, like, you do, you they got to do something. Yeah, like, if you're going to sit there and lay on the ground, and I, I understand if something actually happened to you, if someone touches your face or, you know, someone uh, slipped and caught you a little bit and it's... Fine them. Yeah, fine them, bro. Fine them. Penalise them, bro. You got to give them You got to give them fines for diving, flopping, like they're doing the NBA. In the football, they're too. the football. Brother, you can't... Be, you, it's just not good for the game. Like, surely you boys have some integrity. Yeah. Not every player dives, but now a lot of players are diving. And seeing Jared do it is really like, dumb. like it's just... I get why you said it. And, then, and he gets up and tries to be a tough guy. That's the issue. That's the real, real issue. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like an oxymoron, bro. He's like one end this, of the spectrum, complete the other, other end of the spectrum, acting like a tough guy after you just, you know, stay down for 20 seconds. So I've seen that, because uh, whatever, because I was uh, doing what I was doing. I just, I was on um, Instagram and I seen Fox News or whatever, put it up and I'm like, well, this is hectic, bro. I love it. I miss spewing. I missed out on a game. And then what you're telling me now, because I didn't really go back and watch anything, I understand what you're saying. Why is your old man's, man? I'm going to tell you mine, bro. Moses Suli. Now, I didn't watch the game, but you just showed me it. And I just can't believe why and how Dragons didn't win that game in the end. All he had to do was run or make a pass. Because he's a big fella. Let's not get it wrong. Moses Suli's a big fella. And I'm pretty sure he can take on a line. And if he gets tackled, it is what it is, you know. But just to not pass there... Was like that guy last year. You said his name earlier. A couple name? years ago, Patrick Herbert. Patrick Herbert for Gold Coast yeah. against the Roosters in the semi final yeah. or one of the finals. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, that's that's a blunder. But Tigers get two two in a row. So, man, Mahmoud Ismail's probably breathing happier now. All the Tigers fans it's are all breathing Shaq, happier. Bro, Shaq TV, brother. He went to Japan and they started winning, bro. <laughs> oh, was not... that the guy in the Tigers yeah, jersey yeah, in the middle bro... of Tokyo? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, brother, Shaq. If 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 you're still in Japan this week, I'm tipping you, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. I'll put a hundred bucks on the Tigers because, bro, since you left, Tigers have been winning, bro. I actually tipped the Tigers this week. What? Well, I did too. We I both genuinely did. tipped them. Yeah, we I both did. I don't think the Dragons, when they, especially when they said that Hunt's not going to play seven. I don't know where he played. I never watched the game properly, but I'm just like, yeah, this club's in shambles and they're not going to play for their their coach they they want to get rid of him ASAP yeah but so they started with him at 7 and they moved him to 9 and then the kid that they Sullivan Sullivan got a double he played very good yeah but Ben Hunt man like Ben Hunt will get a million dollars I think they should play both of them people will pay Ben Hunt 750 to a million dollars to have him in but, the, but, as a halfback yeah but they started Moses and by yeah. so there's just uh, something wrong there man it makes no sense bro let's move over to game of the round um, I'm going to tell you mine straight away because just the way they're playing and the way they're shocking everyone and Let's put it this way. That was the, probably the biggest upset of the round. Maybe the Titans' power was, but Dolphins and Sharks. Bro, I did not expect 30 nil. Uh, what, half time was it? Or right before half time? 30 nil. That's a Wayne Bennett masterclass again. 900th bro. win, bro. He's 900th. And I always, win. I keep saying, exactly. 900th bro. game, sorry. 900th game. I keep saying this that he just, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. And, uh, I, sorry, what I keep saying is I just remembered that they're even missing O'Sullivan. Like, they're missing, like, a player that they really rely on, you know? They're missing the backup to the player they really rely on, Yeah, you know? it's, it's a lot of injuries, but, man, the way they 30 nil them was unbelievable. So, that's my game of the round. What's yours, bro? Bro, I'm going to go the first one. I really enjoy. Even though we lost, I really, really enjoyed oh, that dogs. dogs game. Yeah. Because um, it had, uh, like, pretty much everything. Pitch was nice like, and clean as well at the start. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Like, like, it's just a really, really enjoyable game to watch. Like, Canberra went to a really strong start. Obviously, they fade. They don't call them the faders for nothing. <laughs> and then they finish strong. Had a lot of, like, big hits, mad runs. Like, bro, I'm celebrating runs from f Big Red, oh, the Big my, Red that's Machine. My, that's who my W man should have been. The Corey big, Halls, bro. Yeah, the Big Red Machine, bro. That first run in he the... He took Pangai. He took everyone with him, bro. 30 meters, bro. 30 meters. And, and I'm like, I want him to keep going. <laughs> I don't even care against my teammate, the Big Red Machine. What a <laughs> player, but... Man, um, it's just a good game. Just dogs started off, came out of the gates really soft. Mm. And I know they're going to get smashed in training because I can't say that we've come out of the gates soft or just been soft throughout any game. In this, in, you could usually, even if we're getting smashed, they're still like putting big hits in. And really, like the boys are trying their best. No, but, but you can say that the only time we've crumbled really was with the Simbin, where we yeah. start just getting Or an out. injury. 
But yeah, you never see like you never see them start that slow. Yeah. You know, you see them defensively the first ten minutes at least. They're yeah, strong. but they but scored two tries in the first ten first minutes. Five ten minutes, yeah. Also, but that, uh, that, that game really pissed me off, bro. But before we get into the Bulldogs talk, yeah. it's time for Magic Round recap. I want to hear everything about it. I missed out. I had an important weekend to do uh, back here, back in Sydney. Um, I'm, I will be going next year, and this is me saying it, so speak it into existence, because next year I will be with you, and we'll be doing everything together, bringing some content to everyone. Tell me, bro. First day. I want to I wanna go through the whole thing. You got the stage, let it go. Let me, let me cook, bro. Let, let me, me cook. cook. Yeah, right, cook them, bro. Listen, boys, listen, listen. If you've never been to Magic, I've never been to Brisbane. I ain't never been to Suncorp. I ain't never been to Magic Round. Brother, if there's no, unless I have a, my, my, my have best mate's wedding or something very big happening, I'm not missing out on Magic Round, bro. This thing is the best thing the NRL's ever come up with. That this magic round is just hectic, bro. From from the first game to the last game to the day before to the day after, the whole of Brisbane is just there for the footy. Every you look, jerseys. You go to the Cass, jerseys. You go to Kmart, jerseys. jerseys. I didn't go to Kmart, but I just came out. Yeah? <laughs> it came to your head. Everywhere you go, it's everyone's there for the footy, and it's hectic. And Suncorp, man, what a stadium! It's a good, really good stadium to watch football at. But the, the thing that's really special about Suncorp is what's around it. And here we go. I'm about to cook grill, me buzz. Cook I'm me about buzz. to grill a core, bro. I'm about to grill a core because what the fuck is in Olympic Park? Bro? I'm going to get heated. I don't care. Maccas. I hate <laughs> going to Olympic Park because there's nothing there. There's the pub, like one pub that's... Never not, get into. This is not that good. Yeah, but you can just Maccas or Porto. You can't even see the All Porto. Most people don't even know the All Porto is there. Yeah. And that's it. And the train to go home. You go to the game at Olympic Park and then you go home, bro. I did not go. I did not get home after the game at, till three in the morning the first night, four in the morning the last, second night, Just and, and the six dream. in the morning the third night. Just living the great Australian dream, watching rugby league, having a punt and having a beer. I never think about that. That's a oh, great mate, Australian dream. I, was, I had so many beers on the first day. I was bloated. I said, <laughs> "Let me try this Bundy stuff." Bunty rum. <laughs> <laughs> I was calling it that after about the third one. Bunty I never, ha I never had Bunt Bundy rum in my life, mate. But mate, I was sinking them like left, right, and center. They're so good. <laughs> um, but it's the it's the culture of rugby league there that's just different. We don't have that here. There's not. There's def definitely not that in Melbourne either. And it's just the maybe culture for of AFL rugby. there is. Yeah, maybe. But for football, for NRL, football's though. a bit different, man. Rugby's a bit different. Like just a tougher, like a little bit tougher crowd. Like a lot. Like, the guys that are going there, like, and I, I just would really, like, dude, the Caxton was popping off. The whole street was popping Tell off. Tell me about the Caxton, because I hear a lot about it in Origin. Uh, origin time, yeah. like, if there's an Origin game in Queensland, Suncorp Stadium, the Caxton is cranky. It was cranking You can't wear a jersey, you can't wear a blues jersey. Yeah. Like, it's, it's deadly. <laughs> so the boys told me that during Origin, stay away from the Caxton Hotel, mate, if you're a blues fan. <laughs> but they said, Bris every time Brisbane play, every time there's a game there, it's cranking. I got in... 2.30 and it was fuck full. It was 2.30 p.m.? 2.30 p.m. Like games at 6. It's full. And it's full. cranking. It's full, bro. I met up with a mate. Um, maddest pub close to a game I've been to. And it was really... Oh, it's just a good experience, So good man. culture, good atmosphere. Very um, good atmosphere. The, 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 the locations, everything around that's perfect. Yeah, and I want to know if who you ran into because you said a lot of heavy oh, names to me. Bro. So tell me like who... You, everyone. You got, don't worry about time, right, listen, listen. about nothing. Big I want to hear this, we want to hear this. So I went to the Caxton before the game, but I went after the game. I want to give a shout out to the boys. They're very big fans of what we're doing here. Oh, thanks, um, boys. Alizé and Jared from Melbourne, bro. Appreciate you, Melbourne boys. They're, these, they're, he didn't know it was me. He didn't know it was, he was trying to, he's looking at me. He's like, bro, is that you? <laughs> are you? Are you the, and he went, from when he, when he realized, wow. he went ballistic. And I was talking to him for like 20 minutes, half an hour, bro. And um, these are very big supporters of what we're doing here. So I want to give you boys a shout out. You sort of be legends, absolute legends. Thank boys. you for the support, man. Everyone that we don't know who you are and you support us, it's the best feeling in the world. But I was telling him it's better than any amount of money you can give someone. Yeah, bro. Just um, I'm just glad I could put a smile on people's faces. And, and, they, and Brisbane treated me really well. Um, we did see some big names, bro. You're just, the thing with Magic Round, bro, is you're just walking down the street <laughs> and... There he is, mate. There's James Graham. <laughs> oh. You told me James Graham. You made him laugh. Bro, I thought I didn't know it was him at first, cause bro, I was. He's. 
I thought he was way taller than me. But he's not. Nah, he's, he's a Same bit shorter height. than me, bro. A bit shorter than you. Yeah. And he's running because I think, like, I just, it's outside of Suncorp, right? But James is running. And I'm, I'm like, oh, my, sh bro, James Graham. Bro, no good, son. <laughs> and I just saw his smile <laughs> and up on his face. And I'm like, that's it. Life complete, bro. You can take me now. I made James Graham laugh. But, like, you'll be walking, bro. The, you know, I can't remember his name. The old mate, he was like really backing up Schuster in th NRL 360. He was like giving him excuse. Like they were talking about Schuster. He's a guy on 360. Not Kenty. He's next to me. Not Kenty. Not Paul Crawley. And he wears the glasses. Not Buzz. But the Baldy? Nah. Nah. He's there. He's next to me. I'm walking. Fletch. Next oh, to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fletch as well. And like I went live on TikTok after the first game, bro. Just because I didn't know where to go. Mm. See John Bernard, bro. Oh, yeah. See, see, like, like, see some of the players. I went to the cast, bro. Moylan and Graham on the on my <laughs> table, bro. People coming. You told me something very crazy. Yeah. <laughs> because I know. Listen, Fred doesn't like to like, you know, shine, put himself out. Like, not put himself out there, but up, uh, big up yourself. You know, talk up yourself. But I'm gonna talk for you, bro. Because you told me, bro. I can't believe that Moylan and. Uh, who was it? It was Moylan and Wade, but I think Wade had gone, so it was just Moylan. So Moylan and, and Wade were sitting there and whatever they were doing. And people were coming shout out to Fred, bro, and yeah. asking him for like photos and how are we and whatever. That's that's the best thing, bro. Like that's I wanna just say, bro, good on you, bro, because you're killing thank it you, with man. everything you do and we say it all, man. Bro, I just want yeah, I really wanna thank everyone for the support, bro. Like everybody was showing me love there, bro, and I like, just thank you guys all for coming and speaking to me. Like, it's just so good to meet, as me like, all of you, bro. It's just the best feeling. It's just still all surreal to me. And there's still a lot we have to meet, bro. There's still a lot we have to do. This is just the start. This it's, is just the, this is, it's just the beninging, yeah, bro. It's just, it's just the, the beninging. beninging. <laughs> um, but, yeah, bro, ma a magic round, man. It's just hectic, bro. Billy it's, Moore? You told me Billy Moore, Billy was, Moore the was the Moore. best. Oh, bro, I'm there watching the Premier League. Like, it was just a crazy night, bro. How I ended up... I left the cast to go watch the Premier League at a pub and I ended up back there because it was closed. I'm back. I came back with bloke from... from, uh, from Shout out to Paul, bro. From legit Newcastle, bro. <laughs> from legit Newcastle. Not not Newcastle here, bro. Newcastle, England. Watch oh, the seriously? Premier League. And I hear this voice behind me. He's he's having a good time. I'm like, fuck, I know that voice, eh? He's got a bit of that deepy voice, you know, yeah? raspy. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, this is either Darren Lockyer or it's like... Billy Moore, another Queens. It's not. It's, you felt the aura. I yeah. turned around. There's Billy Moore, North Sydney Bears jumper, wow. Nathan Brown, and um, they just we watched the games together. It was hectic. And he's a Liverpool supporter. You're telling yeah, me. Yeah, he said he goes for Liverpool, and he spent the whole night trying to convince his pommy bloke next to me to go for Queensland, <laughs> and but, he couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, bro, it's just such. A, it's so. It's just. I've never I got seen big FOMO like now, it. man. I got big FOMO, bro. Honestly, yeah. big FOMO. Uh, what a what a. What a place, bro. Well, we, we, we will be there. We'll take the couch there next uh, next year. Next year, year We'll go, all of us, bro. We'll book a mad hotel and we'll just have the time of our lives. Yeah, brother. And probably see Gold Coast a bit as well because you're there and you're there, you know what I mean? Yeah. If we have time. But that's for next year. What we want to do now is talk about the Bulldogs. Oh, uh, one, wait. One, one more ahead. shout out, bro, because, the, mate, i got to give him credit where it's due. Brother, you guys didn't even play this week, but the amount of Newcastle fans I saw there... Big respect to all of you, bro. I, I actually went, if I was at a pub and I saw a Newcastle fan, I'd say, brother, good on you, man. Because you're not even playing the whole weekend. You're not even a part of Magic they're Round. Their, they they really brother, back their team, but no was, matter what. There was more Newcastle fans than Roosters fans. <laughs> of course, that's pretty. Bro, you're not even playing. <laughs> big bro. respect, bro. Honestly, man. Yeah, in Newcastle, footy is literally, it's like a big part for them, bro. So yeah. I get it. I get why they were there. But their team wasn't even playing. But they probably just want to be part of a... History, like, but that's a historical round. Let's be honest, like, it's yeah. a crazy round, bro. Uh, right, so yeah. for that to, to to for them to be there, big respect, big credit. Um, anything else on Magic Round, mate? I could, let talk, it all I, out. I could talk about it for for days. <laughs> Seriously, it was one of the best weekends of my life. Got you know, it's just everyone's there for the same reason. Everyone's so friendly, dude. I saw no issues, no violence, nothing, no violence, yeah. and I was out till long hours of the morning, bro. So. <laughs> It's just, it's just a, it's just a good lot of fun, bro. Big up Queensland for that. That was crazy. Yeah. Let's move on to the Bulldogs. Um, I was very disappointed. Bulldogs lost the Canberra Raiders. Obviously, the scoreline was something, and the game was something else in my eyes. Um, I thought we should have, we don't, we didn't, we did not deserve to be that close to them, the whole game. Like I know we we pulled off some good tries and we done some good things in the game, but when you defend like that, 
when Corey Horsburgh, and Corey Horsburgh's a top player, but when he's taking on Pango and Reynolds, he's taking on four free players that are, they don't know how to tackle, right? Um, yeah, man, the scoreline did not really show anything got to do with the game. I think we were poor. Um, Corey Horsburgh, who is slowly, slowly becoming such a great player, but for him to take on like three defenders of ours, go 30 metres in the first five, ten minutes of the game. No, first set of the first game. First set of the game. Literally the first set. I was giving set. him the benefit of the doubt. And then they score the next set. The next like you're, you just, you just, you're ready to go. The game just started. You have energy. No one's legs are tired. Everyone's in the thing. Man, that pissed me off so bad because I know what we are. I know we're better than that. I know we're more resilient than that. Um, Declan Casey, I think, made a few errors. Cost us a try. He's still young. He's learning. But um, man, there's just a lot of things that we could be better on. And I'm pretty sure Seraldo grilled them. You, like you said before, I'm pretty sure, bro, because even when we were scoring tries, he was not happy. Yeah. And I love seeing that in a coach. I love seeing that Bellamy. You, you know, Bellamy, when he's up by 18, he's still getting angry at the little one percenters that the team's not doing. You watch the press conference from a lot of the other games and you watch the press conference for this game and you could tell he was annoyed. So I know we're going to get a different Bulldogs team coming this week. Um, and yeah, we have not started like that at all. We are Never. really running it all through us, running around us. Matt Burden, man, that missed tackle on. I was there on that side of the field. The Matt scrum Burden, one from the scrum. From Tomoko? the scrum. Come on, man. Tomoko runs hard, bro. You can't be coming that weak in his direction like that. He's gonna run through you, and that's what he did. Yeah, which was bad. But a lot, of, a lot of defensive side of the game pissed me off. But they were just simple things. That's. Yeah. It's not like like I think we'll be okay. Oh, no, no, it's, not oh. something, it's not something that we've really been Bad accustomed right. to doing. It's not what we're about. And I know Sarada, that stuff made Sarada mad, so it's something I'll work on. Oh, I know. I'm not saying that this will happen again. I know it won't. And I, I want to um, uh, take away the negatives. Let's go. Let's be positive now because Josh Adakar is finally back. Well, well, I say, I know, I, is he I, in the lineup He's now? in the lineup. He's Excellent. starting. The news outlets, everyone said that. Right, I was asleep. He was telling all the boys, he was telling Kiraz and, and everyone. I was watching a bit of, bit of some footy content before. He's telling him, I'm going to break the record for fastest man to recover from this injury. And he has done it. Hopefully, time, I think they're playing Saturday. When the Bulldogs playing Friday? Friday, Friday 6 p.m. Friday, 6 p.m. Oh, that's going to be a gorgeous night of footy against the Warriors. But he's back. And I think that's a massive, massive thing, boost for us. Takes pressure off everyone. I just can't wait to see. Kir and Kiraz was limping in the... In the um, I think we brought him back too early. He did come back too early. And I hope that's not the case with Araka. But I'm going to take the positives where they are. And I'm just excited to see him back. Maybe that can... Maybe bro, all, that's all a big in, bro. It's a big in, bro. That's it a is. Big in, Confidence man. wise, leadership wise, everything wise, man. It's massive, bro. I'm G'd up. I'm G'd up. But I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I just... Look, there were a couple of things I wanted to change with the lineup. I, I think Casey just... I, I think he only played because Skeleton was suspended. Definitely, yeah. I didn't know that last podcast, so I apologise. Yeah, everyone had a go at me too. <laughs> yeah, and... um and Yeah, but yeah, we didn't know it was suspended. Um... But, yeah, Adokar's back, which is a big boost. I can't wait to see him again. he might not have the captain, I want to say armband, but he might not have the captain next to the name, the C next to him, his name, but vocally, he's, the, he's the captain. Aura, vocal. He's that guy, bro. Uh, the opponent seeing him run, you know, burden seeing him in the team. It makes oh, everything, bro, that's going to make us out it makes a, a lot better. Yeah, it makes everything tick just way better. And the boys have done what they had to do in the last weeks to... You know, cover up for him, but he's back. Let's hope we get the win against the Warriors. Yeah. Um, I, know you, I know you don't know where your heart is at the moment because the Bulldogs and Warriors are going to play, but... <laughs> no, 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 I know where my heart is. <laughs> no nah, question. Definitely, definitely. Um, let's talk about the Roosters, man, because um, they are really, really pretenders this year. Let's be honest. What the hell, bro? I told everyone they're not going to finish first and they were grilling me. I had them at like fourth. I think I had them first, man. Like, bro. Pen on paper, that's a good thing. They always get hurt, number one. They always start slow and now they've really got a problem because... Bro, they don't look better with Manu at all. Nah. They don't look better with Manu at six whatsoever, dude. No way. No chance. I, so I, I agree you, with you 100%. Come on. I don't know how Sam's doing on reserve grade, but it's Sam. Like, Sam Walker's probably killing it in reserve grade. Probably, yeah, but he's a guy. He's, you got to bring him in, To man. drop him for one week, I understand. Maybe just to get him, just to remind him, hey, bro, like, you haven't been well lately. We need you back to your best. But I think it's three weeks now, bro. So this, that was the second week. But I, think. The, I don't think yeah. he's playing this week either. So yeah. I, it makes me, you know, it, it confuses me a bit. Come on, mate. I don't know what's going on there, mate, but sort your shit out, bro. That and they team, got players back. They got Crichton back. They got uh, Tupanor back. They're coming off the bench. Maybe you got to start them. I don't know what's going on, bro. Where, where the soon, bro, that rain came out of nowhere. You it know did. What? I, I did, did, did. But the Cowboys are playing the rain too, bro. Yeah. And they were running, they were running circles around you. That pack got pumped, bro. 
by a really small mobile pack. Yeah. And the game is going in that direction, and I guess that shows but still, you. Still. Like, come on, bro. You exp- you can't... 20 nil, bro. Yeah, that was... 20 nil. Was that 20 to 6 full-time? Yeah, they scored, like, the last minute of the game. Yeah. It was one tick on the multi. I had quite a score. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, it's just... You expect better from the Roosters. I'll, I'd bring Sam Walker back in. Definitely. Maybe, you know they're going to try and go to the open market, try if they can, you know, see if they can weasel somewhere out of their team. You know, they always like to do yeah, it. Yeah, but they're trying to get rid of Suwali, I'm hearing now. Yeah, and I know they're Matt denied Lodge. It. I know they're denied it. But and Matt Lodge now too. And Matt Lodge. But they're, they're two good players. Why would you get rid of them? They're like important for your team. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're just, I think they're panicking. I think they are panicking. And I guess at this stage of the season, you'd rather panic now then later on, yeah. you know, they're experimenting, they're Pep trying Guardiola, shit, but Pep whatever, Guardiola whatever they're doing right now is not working. Nah. So, I think, like, the only good, I think the only good play, I know they've got some injuries, Tupo. Yeah, but, but Billy on, Smith came in, did good. Billy Smith was good. Really good. Um, I don't know, just, inshallah, he doesn't get injured. Yeah, like, you know, man, poor he, bloke, bro. You know bro, what he's got a rig on. He's got a big like. He's built for footy, bro. He's got a mad body to like play footy for a long time. Like, it's just his injuries that he yeah, keeps like getting. Two, three ACLs. But I'm, I'm, I had him. I hope he gets better, man. Like, I just want to see him play some football. I think everyone does. Yeah. Not just Roosters fans, because you don't like, brother. They've been playing their whole life, and then they keep getting hurt. Like, it's just you don't want to see. It. So, um, I really, but yeah, they. I think they'll snap out of it. But right now. They, they look like one of the most beatable teams in the league. I like, think, I think you versus the Roosters and you're not really that scared. Yeah, I, I, always, I said Where's it to the, the boys the other gone? day, I really feel like Bulldogs can beat them. Like, if we verse them now, we verse them round 16, but if we verse them now, I'd be comfortable like we'd pump them. Yeah. Just because the energy and toughness that we play with, they don't, have they don't show on a consistent basis. Even they showed the, against the Warriors. Even against the Dolphins, but that's exactly what they were. And they kept repeating their performances, just, bro. So I they are pretenders, not they're not contenders. They're the pretenders. Right now they're pretenders, Definitely. yeah. But bro, we have like 15, 16 rounds left, seventeen rounds left. Yeah, it's still a origin to go. Still Everything's to gonna go. change. Everything's gonna change. And I wanna, I wanna apologize because I don't know. I feel like they're a bit on my fraud list. The Rabbitohs, I just never rated them. But I'm honestly starting to like how they play, like who they are. It's their come to lose right now. It's literally. Uh, I got asked this question the other day. Who do you think will win it? I don't think the Sharks will win it straight out. They're a good team, whatever. But on the night, on the big night, when you need a, when you need good things to happen for them, it just doesn't happen for them. And I don't Melbourne. I'm crumbling every week. We see it. I don't know what it is. Injuries or Pappenhausen or I think it's their fault pack. Letting all of them go at once is the biggest loss you can ever do. Um, I don't see anyone else, but like that's in the clear right now. It's yeah, probably it's- Rabbits and Penrith, and even Penrith have been shocking recently. They haven't found their form and. Injuries, you can say that too, but... No, they don't look like Penrith. They but do not Souths look like Souths. Souths look, like, South. South look like they're getting better every week. As Yeah, as of right, they've just beaten the top, like, three contenders. Literally. In three weeks. Yeah, Brisbane didn't have Haas and, and Mam, but, yeah. you know, yeah, they saw... Penrith played well against them and lost, but at the end of the day, who got the Ws? South, South Sydney, bro. And I got their bogey team this week. <laughs> Who are they playing this week? Tigers. We'll get into that when we go to the real yeah. Tigers. Tigers. Um, our last thing I want to talk about is wooden spoon battle. Who do we think is going for that wooden spoon? Who do we think is going to get it, man? Well, the Honestly, Tigers I- are two Ws in a row. And here's the thing with the Tigers and the Dragons. So many of their losses have been two, four, six points. Like, it's hard to call I it. I think this is the f- fifth loss in a row for the Dragons with inside six points. Now... They are, there are two teams on two wins. The rest of the league is on four or more. So I think... Uh, I want to say Newcastle, with the issue that they're having in, is also in the race. I feel like we've got four wins. Second has like six or seven wins. Like, it's still a really open comp. It's really tight, really Can close. for you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have, I think, our schedule for the next few weeks. It's Warriors, Titans, bye. Pick up like we get one or two wins there, and then we get the buy. Like things are looking good. The oh, bottom definitely. two teams have had the buy. Um, Cowboys haven't. Warriors haven't. So, like, definitely. I I don't think we're in the wooden spoon race because I think we've just we're sort of if we can get a, another win or two here. We've we gone through the bad it. part with all the injuries and, sh- and you hopefully know. we don't get more. But. Hopefully we don't get more. But the first ten weeks have been hell. But in the nights, man, I think like the toughness and stuff is it might wear off a bit, and um. I could see them sort of falling into the race. There's still a lot of season to play, but yeah. Um, I think I think the Dragons, man. 
Yeah, the think? Dragons right now, like our, my predicted in the preseason, them to be wooden, spoon. wooden spooners. I think a lot of people did, but they started to look good to be, you know, they're winning games or they're just losing games by two points, four points. Yeah. But I just think there's going to be a big coaching issue for them, man, towards the, in the next couple of rounds. When they, when they feel like they're just not going to make the eight, I think everyone's just going to start not caring. And I'm not saying that they, they have this attitude problem or anything, but when you don't play, it doesn't look like they play for their coach, bro. It doesn't look like they're backing. Dragons, oh, look at me, bro. <clears throat> look at me. Guys, make a decision. Are you? If you're not going to keep him next year, brother, pull the trigger. Go. Let him go. Pull the trigger. Let him go. Be, behead him something. Do Whatever you got to do, just get rid of him. However way you want to. But it's got to happen. It doesn't feel he, like... He's not going to be there next year. You no. got Shane at Manly, bro. Sitting there. Sitting there. Commentating and being a, a what do you call it? A personality. Assistant, assistant manager. Yeah, bro, get him. <clears throat> I think Shane or Hasler has to take that job. Yeah, man. Because like, that will change Don't get team. Dean Young. Don't get Dean Young because then you're doing the same thing. But mistake. that's what they feel. That's what a lot of Dragons fans I talk about tell me this, bro. That they think that Dean Young will come in because you can, they, 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 they own, or the, I don't know who they are, the CEOs or whatever, have more power. If Dean, if Dean Young comes in. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But if Hasler comes in or Shane Flanagan, you can't step over these coaches. These are coaches that have a big say, you know what I mean? They know what they want to do. They know which way they want to take the team. They want a little laptop. Look at Manly with Des Hasler. The yeah. owner started getting involved. He said, you know what, I'm out, bro. Yeah. Like, they, want, they want a little laptop, bro. That's what they, they want. want. Oh, and, and they'll probably get him. And if they do that, that'll just make the Dragons you, fall down a bigger hole, bro. The Dragons are in a period of a state of mediocrity, bro. Mm -hmm. They have some decent players. They have some washed players. They have some young players. They, they don't know which one to prioritize. Neither does Hook. Uh, but bro, the CEO. But, bro, you just you gotta get someone that's established, that's been in this position before, and built the club back up. Now Des hasn't really, you know, he's not a rebuilding type of guy. No, but he can fix attitude. But he can fix. He, he's a good coach, man. People would want to play for him, bro. But I think the best option is Shane because Shane legit took the Sharks from like a really bad position. No sponsors, really bad period financially, roster wise, and then a few years later, I want to come. Added some good players, but turned a lot of players into superstars, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can blame the peptides or not all you want, but I, I don't really look into that I too don't much. I really care about that. Um, yeah, man, I think. Like, but the I, think, I think he should, he should be a first grade coach. He was your assistant before, he knows the players already. It's like an easy one for me. I think they're waiting to the end of the year to do it, but. Yeah, yeah I feel I'm, like that. Surely, yeah, I don't know, man. But I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't see Tigers getting the wooden spoon anymore. I feel like they have that confidence now. Buller, man. Yeah, that the Buller effect. And the yeah, Shaq the Buller TV effect, effect, bro. There you go. Shaq TV, Buller effect. But I feel like Tigers won't get the wooden spoon. I feel like the Dragons will. And I only say this off, not because of their players or anything. I just only say this off attitude and what's happening around the club. You know what I mean? Now it's all positive for Tigers. Two in a row. If they get three, that's massive, bro. You know what I mean? Big like, game this week. South big game Sydney. this week in South Sydney. I don't know how that goes. But anyway, speaking of big games, let's get into the tips. Wrap this yeah. all up. Um, first game of the week is a belter. Oh, you said dogs and thing. I thought that was the first game. My yeah, bad. No. Thursday. Um, Melbourne and Brisbane. In Melbourne. Um, they do play pretty good there. It's usually a good game, but I'm going to go Brisbane. 13 plus. I think they're just on another level this year. Oh, I thought you said Melbourne 13. I went crazy. Uh, Melbourne, Brisbane. Yeah, I'm going to go... I think I'll go Brisbane 1 to 12. I think Bellamy won't let, it, let them cop it again, but it's still going to be crazy. Dogs, Warriors. Dogs. I'm, I'm going to. Warriors miss some players, bro. I'm going to go. Do, I love. I'm sorry, Bunty. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Even though I got Bunty, Bunty's probably starting. Just because Bunty's starting, I'll go Dogs 1 to 12. But I'm confident now with Addo Carr. Are we gonna, this is going to be something that we've been, we've been missing. We had him last time. So, Bulldogs, Warriors, what's your tip? Bulldogs, 1 to 12. Okay, I'm going to go Bulldogs. Should I throw my, like, my magic number? Go for it. Throw my magic number. Should I shut my... 14. 14! Bulldogs by 14! I got it once. I've been riding that way for six, for about 11 weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, yes, yeah, so Bulldogs by 14. Penrith Roosters. Penrith 13 plus. If I think that's this is going to be the game where... Roosters will lift, but Penrith are going to be like, done. put the nail in the coffin, bro. Yeah, I think... I think Do some damage. Penrith, Roosters, I'm going to go Penrith 1-12. to 12. Yeah. Um, South Sydney Rabbitohs and the West Tigers. I'm going to do it. Do it. Happens every year, bro. Do it. Let Brooks cook. Do it. I'm sorry. I, I, it's it's against the grain, bro. It's against the grain. <laughs> go on. Go. West Tigers 1-12. to 12. 
South Sydney's bogey team, they always lose to them at least once a year. And it's always when South Sydney are on a mad run, Ooh. they lose to the Tigers. That's a big, big call, man. I'm going to Tigers. That's a big call. Tigers when is it? Let's see the time. 3 p.m. <sighs> oh, is it in the, it's in the sun? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Rabbitohs. I'm gonna go Rabbitohs one to twelve. I'm going. I'm going the Tigers. I'm okay. going for it. Ra I'll go Rabbitohs one to twelve. Cow Cowboys Dragons. Oh my god! <laughs> this is probably the shittest game in the world. I don't even want to watch this game. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I don't even have to. <laughs> we don't have but, to. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, it's you know, sweet birthday. Saturday, Saturday Happy night. birthday to me. Very soon. Let, uh, let, yeah. let's, let's get to my birthday, then we'll celebrate. Yeah. Um, Cowboys, Dragons. Cowboys, Cowboys, 1 to 12. Okay, I'm going to go Cowboys 1 to 12 as well. I feel like Dragons going to get close, but. I hope the Dragons win. No, I don't. But I don't Sacked think they're going to. It's just, something's wrong. Raiders, Para. It's in. It's at GIO. Sunday, Afo. No, Saturday, Saturday night. Ugh. That's uh, the game we miss. I'm going to go Para. I always. Oh, fuck. I don't even know. You see, it's hard. And then everyone keeps calling me a para fan because I think I tip them every week. And they keep losing. I'll go quick. You have to make up your mind. Para. Canberra, para. Para. One okay. to 12. I'm going to go Canberra, 13 plus. Newcastle and Titans. Titans. Newcastle, 1 to 12. Manly and Cronulla. Cronulla, bounce back, 13 plus. I'm going to go Manly, 1 to 12. They're, they're shocking this year. But I'm going to go mainly 1 to 12. And Dolphins have the bye. And that's a wrap from us. Yes, Make sir. Make sure you've liked, subscribed, commented, done everything you need to do. You followed Fred on TikTok. You followed us on TikTok. You go on his stream, gift him all the subs. You have to get. Nah, don't do that. Nah, you know, do that. Yeah, we want Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we love you all, man. Take it easy. And we'll be back next week with more League Lads. Yeah, the League Lads, boys. Si, senor.